Hello, fifth graders, Ms. Zellett here. It's unit two, week two, lesson one of phonics. Today, we'll be working with the inflectional endings, ED and ING. Uh, let's begin by defining inflectional ending. And inflectional, inflectional endings are a group of letters that change the meaning of a word or verb tense. Inflectional endings can help us determine if the event occurred in the past or present. Let's take a look at the root word or base word end. When we add the inflectional ending, ed, um, it's changed the meaning to it's happened in the past. So the verb tense is past. Let's again take a look at the root or base word end. When we add the inflectional ending, ing, we've changed the verb tense. It means it is happening now or in the present. All right, let's take a look at some spelling rules for adding inflectional endings, ed and ing. We have a doubling rule. In a one syllable word with one short vowel ending in one consonant, double the final consonant before adding ed or ing. An example is bat. When we add the inflectional ending ed, we double the final consonant, we double that final t. Again, um, we're looking at the root word bat. When we add the inflectional ending, ing, we double the final consonant, which is the T. We double the T. All right, let's look at the next uh, spelling rule. Words ending in silent E. When a root or base word ends with a final E, drop the E before adding ED or ING. Example, root word or base word shine, we drop the E, add ED. Again, root or base word shine, we drop the E and add the inflectional ending ING. All right, next word rule, words ending in Y. When a root or base word ends with a Y, change the Y to I before adding ED. Example, the root or base word dry, we drop the I or change the Y to I and add ED. So we change the spelling. All right, let's take a look at some words here. Uh, we can read these together. I'll read through them first, then we'll read them together. So we have chart, charted. All right, with me, please. Chart, charted. So the inflectional ending, of course, is the ed, and we change that uh, meaning of the word to a past tense, and it has happened. All right, let's take a look at the next set of words. I'll read first, then you read with me. Flip, flip. All right, with me, please. Flip, flip. Again, we've added ed. It's past tense, means the event has happened. All right, next word. I'll read, then you'll read with me. Brace, braced. Okay, with me, please. Brace, braced. All right, again, flexional ending is ed has been added. It's past tense. The event has happened. All right, I have an activity for you. And um, when you're ready to begin this activity, you can just pause the video and unpause it to check your work. So what I'd like you to do is uh, write the words and underline the inflectional ending and state if it's past tense, has happened, or present tense happening now. So go ahead and pause the video, please and do that work and then come back and check your work. All right, let's check our work here. All right, if you take a look at the word yell, we have now the inflectional ending ing, so you would underline ing, and it has changed the meaning of um, the word to the present tense, which means it's happening now. Again, root word or base word hope, the inflectional ending is ed, so you should have underlined the ed and make note that it is now a past tense or has happened. Okay, next word, clap. Uh, we've added the inflectional ending ing, so you should have underlined the ing, and you should have also hopefully make note that the spelling of the root or base word has changed. We did double the final consonant. And of course, um, it's present tense, meaning um, that clapping is happening now. All right. Well, that is it for today's lesson, and I will see you soon.